The calendar page allows you to follow a preset outfit calendar of outfits that Front Fighters has put together, or to create your own customized outfit calendar to follow each day. The home page will then draw from your outfit calendars, allowing you to choose any that you have created to suggest an outfit for the day. When you first create your account, as long as you have the Women's Essentials collection by Front Fighters, you'll see that there is already a default calendar called the Front Fighters, either Northern Hemisphere or Southern Hemisphere. Northern Hemisphere is for climates that are north of the equator, and Southern Hemisphere is for the opposite climates that are south of the equator. You'll see as you select Southern Hemisphere that it will change the label to Front Fighters Southern Hemisphere. This calendar is based on the Women's Essentials collection which contains over 400 outfit combinations for everyday life. If you do not own this collection yet, you might not see this calendar showing, but you can click to add a calendar to create one from scratch from the collections that you do own. Let's go over a few of the awesome features of the outfit calendar before we go into how to add a calendar of your own. Let's go back to the Northern Hemisphere. You'll see that there is a month view, which is selected by default. You can also switch over to the week view, which will show you about seven outfits at a time in larger format. The outfit recommended for the current day, today, is highlighted in yellow. From both the month view and week view, you can click on the edit button to go into edit mode. This allows you to select any outfit of the day and choose to change it. If you're viewing the default outfit calendar created by Front Fighters, it will ask you to first create a copy of the calendar before you start editing it. You can enter a name for your calendar and click create, and it will create a copy for you so you can start customizing it to your taste. If you already have one created, it will list it here and you can click on it to go there. As you can see, I've gone to my custom calendar where I already duplicated the Front Fighters calendar and have been editing it, uploading my own outfits and pictures. If you're in edit mode, you'll want to switch back to view mode by either clicking on the link at the top of your screen or clicking on back to view mode so that you can actually see the details of an outfit by tapping on it. Otherwise, when you're in edit mode, it will open up a window that will let you choose a different outfit. You can either type in an outfit number and select it from the menu to change, or you can click to find outfits, which will open up a set of filters to help you find the kind of outfit you want to wear for the day. If you're working from your children's calendar, you can also select boys outfits and girls outfits. These options will show up if you have the boys or girls collections. Let's look for some outfits under women's outfits. Let's say that for today, you know it's gonna be warmer and you wanna change which outfit is set on the calendar. You can filter by outfits for warm weather, select that you want something casual, and then you can also filter down by Front Fighters original outfits, only images that are pictures of models, which would include the official Front Fighter models or your own pictures that you've uploaded, or to only show outfit flat lays. You can also choose to filter only to show the outfits that you've uploaded. Let's say there's a specific piece that you want to wear, such as your color shorts. You can type that in there to filter down by that. You can also toggle to only find outfits that you can make based on what you've checked off in your closet, and then tap Find Outfits. Some outfits will come up, and they will include outfits that you've uploaded. They'll also include Front Fighters Official Model examples, and Front Fighters Official Outfit Flat Lace. Once you know which one you want to choose, Let's say you want to wear a graphic tee and color shorts. You can tap on choose this outfit. That will update the outfit shown. If you've uploaded a picture of yourself wearing that outfit, it will automatically update to show that picture of yourself. Let's look at a few features in the month view. If you go forward a few months and you want to go back to the current day, you can tap on the today button to jump back to the current month. Let's go over a couple of ways that you could change the outfit that's assigned to the day. Of course, if you're happy with the outfit that's assigned and you plan to wear that one, you can toggle to see it with your pieces. And if you want to save that view, hit customize and go through the process of customizing the outfit and saving it. The platform will automatically update what's shown on the calendar to be what you saved. If you have multiple versions of the same outfit number, it will choose the latest one that you've saved. If you want to display a different version of the same outfit number that you have already saved, you can go to edit mode Click on the outfit, type in the pieces that are used in the outfit, and select only outfits I've uploaded. You'll see here there are two versions that I've saved. If I want to display this one instead of this one, I can just tap choose this outfit and it will automatically update. Let's say you decided to go with a different outfit. 
you can tap on the day that you want to edit and either look for the outfit number if you know what it is or use the find outfit section to locate the outfit that you want to wear. Let's say we want to go with this outfit 38 from the women's business collection. You can tap to choose it and then you can go to view mode and tap my pieces to see it with your pieces. You can hit customize and save that version of the outfit so that it will show up here with your version and your pieces. You could also go to the top of the outfit calendar screen and use the plus sign to add your outfit. If you need help finding an outfit number match, you can tap this link, enter the pieces that you want to wear and find an outfit number. Once you've saved it, make note of the number and then go back to edit mode tap on the day that you want to edit and instead of finding an outfit you can just use this view to change the outfit to that number. If you have an outfit uploaded with your picture it will automatically show there. Another way to change the outfit that is selected for the day is from the home page. You can tap on change today's outfit. That will take you to the same pop-up that will let you change the outfit for the day. You can either enter an outfit number or tap Find Outfits and filter down to what you want to wear. Now let's explore adding additional calendars. You can tap on Add a Calendar and you have three options. You can either start with a blank calendar, which won't have any outfits assigned to any of the days and will let you use the Edit button to add outfits as you'd like. You can also start with the standard Women's Essentials calendar and edit from there. This option is the same as if you duplicate the Front Fighter's original calendar. And the third option is to fill the outfits based on my weather. This option allows you to choose any of the outfit collections that you own. Let's try this option. There are a few different reasons you might want to try adding additional calendars. You can create a calendar based on the women's business outfits. Let's say you'd like this to be your workday calendar. Enter a calendar name and select women's business. Then you're going to want to type in your location. You can either type your city name or your zip code. This will work internationally as well as in the US. Let's say that you're in Dallas, Texas. Let's go ahead and type that in and you have a few different options to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and choose Dallas, Texas and hit create. The platform will jump to that calendar and you'll get a message that your outfit calendar is being prepared. It'll take a few minutes and you can navigate away from this page and then come back later. Okay, our calendar has been generated. As you'll see, it will start from the day that you created it and go for 365 days after that. The platform will do its best not to repeat tops or dresses within the same week. And it's going to be based on the weather in your area. So for example, though October is typically considered fall, Texas can stay pretty warm even into October. So the outfits chosen in the first part of October are for summer. As the weather cools down, such as in November, you'll start to see some outfits for fall. And again, if you've added a customized version of the outfit number, it will display your custom version. This is one that I uploaded. You can use the edit mode to change any of the outfits selected here. On the home page, you can now also select between your calendars. You'll see your workday calendar is now listed there. Let's look at a couple other scenarios. You may want to do a blend of your women's essentials and women's athleisure outfits and create a calendar that has both. You can do that by checkmarking both collections. You can also create one of just women's athleisure and you can create a separate calendar for each of your kids. Let's create a calendar for the girls essentials and we're just going to name it Sally's calendar. Um, let's try one based in Australia. We're going to go with the Australia Zoo Steve, Steve Irvin Way. Sounds pretty classic for Australia. And hit create. It'll take a few minutes and then your outfits are going to start to populate. You'll see this generated an outfit calendar based on the girls essentials and this can be edited to change the outfit as well. You can also change to see that new calendar from the home page in the outfit of the day widget. One final detail is that you can edit the name of a calendar as well as delete that calendar. Take care when deleting a calendar as it will remove it and is not reversible. You'll need to type delete calendar in all caps exactly before the proceed button will work. And that completes our tutorial for the outfit calendar. Have fun creating your customized outfit calendars for yourself and your whole family.